Welcome to Tech Topics. Today's tech topic is, how do I size a UPS? You know, we have that question come out of our office quite a bit. Well, I need a UPS. Okay, sir, ma'am, what size do you need? Well, I don't really know. There are a number of very important criteria that if you'll provide us that information, then we can correctly recommend the proper UPS for you. So first of all, the voltage. You know, is it just a typical 120 volt that you plug into the outlet in your office? Or is it gonna be uh, a 240, 120, maybe a single phase, maybe it's three phase. So we need to know that information first. If you're not sure of that, ask one of your facilities people or ask the, uh, one of your data, uh, data center people and they can give you that information. Now we wanna allow for a little room for growth. So we'll take that, that voltage and on the back panel, you can see how many watts or volt amps that the device consumes. We'll take that number times 1.2 and that gives you the starting point of how many volt amps or how many watts that we're gonna be looking at. Now, secondarily, you wanna know runtime. How much runtime do I need? Uh, the typical uh, outage, power outage in North America can range between six and 10 minutes, maybe six and 15 minutes, depending on where you're located. So it doesn't make any real fiscal sense to buy a UPS with an hour's worth of runtime because that's gonna cost you a lot of money. So identify what the typical outage is in your area and we've got some tools that could help uh, do that as well. Now, if you're looking at a unit that's gonna power a number of different uh, devices, uh, obviously make sure we've got enough power to power those. And then is it plug and play? Great, how many outlets do you need on the back of the UPS? If it's gonna be set in a central location where uh, the unit's going to be hardwired, and you hardwired into the unit and then to a little small panel. That's information we need to know as well. Is it going to be rack mounted? Is it going to be floor mounted? So if you can obtain those information, that, those pieces of information, put them in an email to us, send it to us, we can help identify the proper UPS. The other type of information that we discuss is, it, is the topology. Is it online or is it line interactive? Maybe standby, depending on uh, the type of equipment that you're going to be uh, providing backup for. So there are a number of different pieces of information that we need. We've got a document that you'll email us. We can be certain to get that to you and we can help you out. Have a great day.